How's it going everyone? Thanks for taking a couple of minutes to check out my review of the Brynite Tactical Flashlight. It is the P28 Oath Keeper. And I'm just gonna do this in like three segments. I'm gonna show you what comes inside the box. I've already had this out and used it for several days, actually a week or so. Then I'll go outside. I'll show it in a couple different applications outside. I did it outside in my house and then I had it out on the trap line a couple of times. But then, and then I'll come back here and do a final review. But inside the box, I mean, the box is, it, I mean, it's a nice box, really. The, it comes with directions. The battery or the, uh, the flashlight itself is really intuitive to use. I mean, if you go through the instructions and you just read through them, it's pretty easy to use. They come with a couple of extra O-rings to seal it off. The flashlight itself, I mean, it's, it's really heavy aluminum. It comes with a rechargeable battery. It has a charging cord and it's a magnetic charging cord. It just goes right on there. It's pretty slick. Just plugs into a USB. But you got to have it pretty stable. You can't jostle it around too much or it'll come undone. So you got to have it set pretty stable and have the magnet down there pretty good. But that's not a big issue. Just get it once it's charged up, it works just great. It comes with a carrying case as well. And it comes with a tactical ring. I'll talk more about that in the second section. It comes with like a lanyard and stuff. But I'm not much of a lanyard guy really. So I probably won't make use of that. So let's go outside and we'll look at this thing in a couple different uh, applications. Like I said, just right outside of my house and then out on the trap line, then we'll come back and wrap this thing up. I'm just gonna demonstrate the brightness of this flashlight now. For a small flashlight, this thing is pretty bright. It's pretty windy, but it's, it's good and dark out right now. And one thing I like about it is on the very first setting, one click, I think that's the second brightness though right there. That's the third and that's the fourth. That thing is incredibly bright for just a small flashlight that's ridiculous and then there's the low light and i really like that for like creeping into a tree stand or something i have some headlamps that they're the low one is their low level is just it's just too bright for me it's it shined up the whole the whole forest and then when you go to their bright level it's nowhere near as bright as that that is like something else it's really bright and shines for a a long way so that i'm really impressed with if you double pump that double bump the switch it goes to the the flashing thing if you do it again it goes to sos and then you just press it and it goes back to the whatever beam you had it set on so this thing is super super bright i'm going to be using it some more out on the trap line doing some uh morning checks and see how it works out on there but so far love this little light all right i'm at one of my trapping locations i'm not sure if my camera's picking it up it's just starting to crack a little bit daylight there's a few stars in the sky but i'm just going to try this flashlight out in this field have no idea if i have anything in traps this is a nice long field it'll show this flashlight oh i got something i see a pair of eyes wait no that's just yeah i do i have something oh my goodness so that's the lowest level of the light well this turned out to be pretty admin pretty cool really second third in the fourth level okay there's something in my trap i just see eyeballs but you can see this flashlight too it is super bright this field is oh i don't even know how long this field is it's, it's a couple hundred yards long at least and it for this tiny little flashlight that thing is crazy bright so i'm gonna just walk out here and see if it's just something i'm gonna be releasing today I think it's a raccoon. If it's a raccoon, this will be the first raccoon I've ever caught in this field. That was one of my suspicions yesterday when I saw my pan cover. It was all chewed up. I got my first catch of the season. That's pretty cool. Second check day. Wait, it's got some pretty... Wait, I think it's a fox. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. So this is really cool. So the the flashlight got a, a pretty cool tryout to start with. Okay, my final assessment of this flashlight. I love this little thing. 
It's small, fits in my pocket easily if I want to. It is, for the size of this flashlight, it's super bright. I mean, push button back here, seems pretty solid. I'm gonna shine it on my hand there. That's usually coming, it's on the lowest level right now. There's level two, I showed all this stuff outside. Three, there's level four, that, that thing's hurting my eyeballs. And hit it again, it goes back to one. If you double bump this, it goes to, to the strobe. That thing's pretty crazy, but hit it again and it stops. But if you hit it twice and then hit it again, it goes to an SOS mode. And then just press it again and it goes back to the regular beam. So it's easy to use. Like I said, it's super bright. As a flashlight, it's awesome. I, it, I think it retails for $69, $69 on Amazon. That link will be in the description for sure. Uh, like I said, I already covered the charger and I covered the the lanyard and stuff if you want to check that out the The carrying case this thing's pretty cool, too. Really. It'll swivel you could put it on like a uh, Some webbing or something if you want if you were like a law enforcement officer or something It really is a secure thing on a belt or say a piece of webbing This is a one and a half inch belt right here it would it would fit on a two inch belt pretty easy but the one thing you can't just pull that off because that little extra hook right there grabs a hold of that thing so you can't just rip the thing off it's almost for me when i had it on my waist it was easier for me just to undo my belt and pull that back out through rather than trying to push that against my body and trying to slide that out of there it's almost like a, a pistol holster that thing is really secure on a belt and i know it'd be really secure on a piece of webbing too the the co couple things about the tactical ring one this is like a can be a self-defense thing a thing to make it easier to hold the the flashlight itself it goes on this back end of the of the flashlight and so i first when i first stuck it on there it's a bit snug so i just pushed it on there and slid it on there the best i could without thinking about it too much and then i just turned it on here and then finished cranking it on by twisting it onto the flashlight itself that's how i marred this the, the flashlight didn't come like that so that was user error right there for sure so if you if you're going to use this tactical ring first thing make sure you have it slid completely on there's a little rubber o-ring here where that thing seeds against you need to get that thing pressed up on there before you turn this on to here or you're going to mar your flashlight like i did now if you want to use this and the second thing i want to tell you is before you slide this on there you'll want to orient that thing the way you want it to because when i first had it on there like your pinky could go through there if you wanted to but what you want and well, what i wanted was my pinky to go through there and have my thumb on the push button part where i could adjust i could adjust the beam i had it all cocked i had it actually reversed to where the push button was underneath so i'm not sure if i'm putting this back on to here but you want to make sure you get that thing oriented correctly and you'll have to twist your the back piece of the flashlight on the whole way first and see where you want this thing to end up at before you put it on because once it's on there it is tough to get off let me tell you so make sure you want it on there and make sure you get it in the right spot so this flashlight like i said retails i think for close to 70 dollars is it worth it i think so the thing is pretty awesome really it's a solid little flashlight and with that tactical ring on there it'd be a little bit of a self-defense weapon if you know what i'm saying thanks for taking the time to watch my review i appreciate your time hope you all have a blessed day and stay safe